If you want to know how many watt hours are actually available to you to use from your portable power station after it uses what it needs to use in order to run, you might consider doing a battery discharge capacity test. But before you do that, research online your particular portable power station because it might have already been done. Essentially, it's just plugging a, a kilowatt meter or a meter like that into your unit and then plugging an appliance into the meter and then turning the appliance on and running the battery until it goes empty and then looking at the meter to find out how many watt hours it provided before it went empty. Now, I'm not an electrician. This is a hobby of mine. And I highly suggest that you contact an, a licensed electrician or at least the store you purchased it from and tell them your situation and what you want to do and, and if everything looks good then I have um, five steps for you to consider. First, find out if you can safely drain your battery to a 0% state of charge without damaging the battery. Um, and the second thing is buy a kilowatt meter or a meter like that. Uh, I have in the description below, I have information on the uh, kilowatt meter. And third, charge your battery to 100% state of charge and let it cool before you do the test. And then fourth, figure out what kind of appliance you want to run uh, to drain it. Now I suggest that you want to drain the battery at a rate of five hours or more. And, uh, and a good way to, to figure that out is to use an appliance that has a constant draw, uh, like a light bulb or a fan or something like that, where it doesn't fluctuate. Um, and so it's easy, a 100 watt bulb, it'll, it'll take 100 watt hours uh, out of your battery bank in one hour. So you can use that to, uh, to calculate. Um, but if you want to use something that has like variable watt draw, like a TV, like I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. In a case like that, you want to find out how many watt hours per hour it would take to discharge a battery completely uh, within five hours. And that's simple. You just take the capacity for the Delta 1300, in, in my case, uh, 1260 watt hours divided by five hours. And that's, that's really all there is to it. That's 252 watt hours. And now my TV is, uh, but um, I think 167 watt hours per hour on average. So it's, it's less than 252, which is great. That means it'll take longer to discharge, like seven and a half hours or something. Uh, and then now the last thing you want to do is set up your camera to record, if you're using the kilowatt meter, set your camera up to record the last five to 10 minutes because uh, the kilowatt meter is going to lose all its information as soon as the, uh, the battery uh, is depleted completely. So last five or, or 10 minutes, set your camera up, be sure you have enough battery and uh, a, a memory uh, and storage for that video that you're uh, recording. And that's about it. All right, so let me demonstrate uh, what this looks like to do a battery discharge capacity test on my Delta 1300. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty fast demonstration. I fully charged my Delta 1300 and let it cool off. Now I'm going to turn on the inverter and plug in the kilowatt meter along with the TV. My TV will draw 167 watt hours per hour on average. All right, it's been seven and a half hours, four to five minutes left, 1% state of charge. And uh, this is my setup. I have my camera filming. zero percent state of charge my camera is still filming and it's what is it 1.05 kilowatt hours times a thousand is 1050 watt hours all right it just shut off so now i know my delta 1300 will provide me 1050 watt hours to use now if i want to find out what the inverter efficiency percentage is all i have to do is divide uh, the 1050 watt hours that are available to me by the 1,260 watt hour battery capacity of my system. And that's 83% efficient. If this has been helpful and you enjoyed the video, maybe you can share it, like it, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to watch my three-part interactive instructional video series on how to figure out what you can run on your portable power station and how long you can run it. Have a great day, and again, thanks for watching.